Unit 5, formative 2, day 3, quadratic formula. Okay, hopefully you've at least heard of the quadratic formula. But the extra of the formula is kind of long, so be ready to write. It's x, oops, sorry. x equals opposite b. Opposite meaning if it's positive, it becomes negative. If it's negative, it becomes positive. Plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4 times a times c all over, so the entire thing is divided by 2a. Okay, now you gotta remember where that a, b, and c comes from. Remember it's ax to the second plus bx plus c. So the a is the number, the coefficient for the x to the second, the b is the coefficient for the x, and the c is the last number. Okay, so that's the formula. Write that down. Um, hopefully that should, that should always be in your notes. You should have that memorized by the end of the unit. Okay, so x equals opposite b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. So one piece of uh, information you have to learn first is called the discriminant. Okay, the discriminant is the b to the second minus 4ac part. In other words, it's the part that's underneath the square root sign or the radical. Okay, so when you calculate b squared minus 4ac, so when you plug in the b and the a and the c, and actually get a number. Okay, so the discriminant is a number. Okay, it's going to tell you whether you have one solution, two solutions, or no solution. Okay, it's one solution if the discriminant is zero. So if the discriminant is zero, you'll have one solution. If it's positive, if it's a positive number, you'll have two solutions, and you have no solution if it's negative. Okay, so add that into your notes. I know there wasn't a spot for it but make sure you add that into your notes, okay? So the discriminant is just the b squared minus 4ac part. All right, let's try some. So we're gonna solve this using the quadratic formula. Now the reason we need the quadratic formula is for when they're not factorable. Okay, so if we can't factor this, like I can't find any numbers that multiply to negative 10 that add to six. Okay, so I have to use the quadratic formula. So first things first, find your a, b, and c. So in this problem, a is one, b is negative six, and c is negative 10. Okay, all right, so we're going to use the formula, x equals opposite b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. Okay, so x equals now opposite b, so opposite of negative 6 would be positive 6, plus or minus the square root, b squared, so negative 6 to the second, so b squared would equal negative 6 times negative 6, which is 36. So you have 36 minus 4 times your a, which is 1, times your c, which is negative 10. All over 2 times a. So 2 times 1 is 2. Okay, so you should have that written down for every problem that you do with the quadratic formula. All right, and then the rest of it you do in your calculator. You start by just calculating the discriminant. So x equals 6 plus or minus the square root all over 2. And then we're just going to plug in the 36 minus 4 times 1 times negative 10. So when we do that, we'll take 36 minus 4 times 1 times negative 10. And when you do that, you get 76. Okay, and then now we have to calculate this by taking x equals 6 plus or minus the square root of 76 all over 2. You can't do a plus or minus in the calculator, so we have to do two different answers. So we know we're going to have two answers. The first one we're going to get by adding. So we're going to do 6 plus the square root of 76 and then you press equals and then you divide by 2 and you get 7.36. Okay, you're going to get decimals. That's normal and that's okay. Then the other one, we're going to take 6 minus the square root of 76. Okay, and then divide by 2. And you get negative 1.36. All right, so you're going to have two separate answers. They're going to be decimals. All right, I'll help you with the calculator part tomorrow. Just make sure you get down the formula and how to plug the numbers in. All right, let's try another one. 
3x to the second minus 5x minus 9. Okay, if I tell you right away, you're going to have to use the quadratic formula. Just do it. Okay, instead of trying to factor, it'll save you some time. So a equals 3, b equals negative 5, c equals negative 9. Okay, I found that because those are the coefficients. Okay, so you have x equals opposite b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. Okay, so I plug that in. So opposite of b, so opposite of negative 5 would be positive 5 plus or minus the square root b squared. So b squared is negative 5 times negative 5, which is 25. Okay, minus 4 times your a is 3 times your c is negative 9 all over 2a, so 2 times 3 is 6. Okay, so then if you remember, the first thing you do is you plug in your discriminant. So you have x equals 5 plus or minus the square root of something all over 6. Okay, so you have 25 minus 4 times 3 times negative 9. And if you do that, you get 133. Okay, and now we take 5 for our first answer. You take 5 plus the square root of 133. Okay, and then you divide by 6. And you get 2.76. Okay, and the second one we're going to take 5 minus the square root of 133. And then you divide by 2. And you get negative 3.27. Okay, so I got both my answers, and I'm done. And again, I'll, I'll help you with the calculator part. Just make sure you have the formula written down, all the steps written down, and then we'll help you with the rest tomorrow. One more. 3, negative 2x to the second minus 18x equals negative 11. Well, what's wrong with this one? The issue with this one right now is that it's not equal to 0 yet. So we still have to make sure they're equal to 0 before we start. So we're going to add 11 to both sides. So you have negative 2x to the second minus 18x plus 11 equals 0. So it has to be equal to 0 before you start. Okay, and then you find your a, b, and c. So a is negative 2, b is negative 18, c is 11. Okay, so you have x equals opposite b plus or minus square root b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. So start plugging your stuff in. So x equals opposite of b would be positive 18 plus or minus the square root b squared. So 18 squared is 324 minus 4 times your a which is negative 2 times your c which is 11 all over 2a. So 2 times negative 2 is negative 4. Okay. Now you're going to do just the discriminant. All right, so you're going to plug in the 30, 324 minus 4 times negative 2 times 11, and you get x equals 18 plus or minus the square root of 412 all over negative 4. Remember, we're going to get two answers. The first answer we're going to get from taking 18 plus the square root of 412 over negative 4. Second answer we get from subtracting. So we take 18 plus the square root of 412 and then divide by negative 4 and you get negative 9.57 okay the second one you take 18 minus the square root of 412 and then divide by negative 4 and you get 0 0.57 alright so make sure you have all that written down we'll see you tomorrow